Mike Norvell, this became a, a major trending topic today, and I at first did not understand what in the world was, was happening, right? Uh, you go to Norvell's Twitter page, and you didn't see anything for the most of it. There was a reporter. Uh, let's see. Uh, Michael jumped in. He said, I really like Dame. He seems like a good guy. He's the five-year-old at Walmart that can't have a toy. And uh, and Ethan Hardy Benson yeah. jumped on Facebook and said, is this a podcast? Uh, yeah, and it's also a live show. So we just uh, we release the podcast whenever we get done recording. So welcome in. We appreciate you joining. Um, I the Mike Norvell stuff. Basically, defensive tackle Marvin Wilson uh, came out and disputed a reporter saying that uh, that Norvell had told him he had reached out to every player individually and had a conversation about what is going on in this country in the aftermath of the George Floyd murder last week. Um, he basically said, Wilson came out and said, look, he didn't have a conversation with everybody. Like, he, he didn't reach out to everybody. He sent a group text. Like, and, and, and then, of course, they had a team meeting today. They all discussed it. And it appears that everything is okay. But uh, shame on Norvell for trying to sound like uh, the, the knight in shining armor here. You know, yeah, we did everything great. It was, you know, we've reached out to everybody. We're having these conversations. Where the fact of the matter is, yeah, he he sent a group text that sent the same thing to every player individually. So he's not completely wrong there. He did send an individual text to everybody, but it was the same text to everybody. Uh, it, Chris, I mean, tell me, tell me what you're thinking here. Yeah, I was. I'm with you. I was disappointed in in, in in Norvell because it's just one of those things where it feels like it's the same thing we talked about yesterday with all these companies feeling like it's their, you know, they all now have to, everybody has to make a statement. Can't you just do the right thing in your organization and not broadcast like some big statement? I, I made I made the comment today that literally I got I got an email yesterday from a company called WeatherTech that may, that makes weather mats or, 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 or rubber mats for your floorboards, for your car, okay? Yeah. And, and I've never bought them before, but I did like, I'm, I'm on their email list because at one point in time I thought about buying them and, and they sent an email out to everybody with their statement on what all is going on. I'm thinking, you know what? I hope that you run a good business. I hope that you take care of the minorities in your, in your workplace. And I hope that you do things the right way. I don't, I don't need an email telling me what's going, like your thoughts about what's going on. Now to All be right? fair, I'm going to, I'm going to defend Norvell just a touch here. He was asked by a reporter. Now, yes, what, all these people crazy. are going to throw, say, well, I was asked, I was asked, I was asked. Yeah. It's it, real it, easy to say, had we, this been we true, are communicating with our guys. Yeah. Yeah. Now you're just trying to make yourself look yes. super woke. You're yes. trying to make yourself look better than you are, and then you end up making yourself look like an idiot. This never would have been news if he had been telling the truth. That's right. Like that's and he didn't issue. have to say, I sent a text, because I know th then that sounds shitty. I can't go on national TV and say, well, I sent a text message to everybody and asked in a big group text, you boys doing okay? Like, like you can't say that. So just kind of find a way to... Blah blah. I'll figure out a way. The to way that you the, just said it was perfect. I, look, we are yeah. communicating with our players. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it. I have an open door policy. Those that want to talk to me about it can. And maybe uh, after being asked that yeah. question, maybe he thinks maybe I should reach out to. I want it to answer that I I I'm reached out to everybody. Maybe I should take this time to reach out to everybody. Yeah. Because because I thought when I was asked that question, that's the right thing to do. So maybe that is the right thing to do instead of, or at least I just told this reporter that I did this. So maybe now I need to, before this comes out in the news, actually go do all these things that you said, but to say it and then never do it. I'm just disappointing. Just yeah. cause I, you know, we love Norvell. We oh, we're yeah. in the tank for him, but it's just, Oh, and Joseph on, Gomez jumps in on YouTube. He said, actions speak louder than words. The climate yep. has changed. Where was everyone four years ago? Well, it, you know, I, it, we didn't have the George Floyd murder 
on tape four years ago. I mean, it's, no, it's, I mean, we had enough. We had enough four yes, years we had ago. 20, yes, but he, people just felt differently. And today we have evolved. He said, "This is uh, the thing that you and I had a discussion about earlier too." Is uh, off, you know, off camera is. Yeah. I never fault people for showing up late to the party. I, yes. I just, I just don't. I, I've evangelized. I've got you to the party. You're on board now. Now I got other people to try to get on board. Once I have a win, a win's a win, and let's move on. That, that, like, yes, do I wish you got on two months ago, three years ago, ten years ago, whatever? Yes. You didn't? You're here now? Awesome. This is the cause. This is what we need help with. Let's go forward. Uh, he said, uh, I still don't see action for resolution and eventual progress. Uh, oh, no, we, we haven't seen action outside yeah. of the commissioner of the Big Ten from anybody, really. No, no. And that, Now, I do think that that will, uh, will spearhead a lot of these things. Um, yep. especially in college athletes uh, or cal- college athletics, excuse me. Matt said it was interesting getting random emails from companies with their statements. Kind of surprised who all has my email. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, you find out who all's got your email. Well, yeah, right. I kind of knew who had my email because they all sent me an email about their process for COVID as well. And I'm thinking, I appreciate whether, you know, weather tech letting me know that they're, they're handling COVID okay. Like, <laughs> I'm handling my own business. I don't need, I don't care. I don't care how you're unreal. handling your damn business. You make floor mats, for Christ's sake. We don't, know, we don't need to know your thoughts on COVID or uh, on the George Floyd stuff. Right? No, I don't, or, yeah, anything going yeah. on in our country. You got that right. Unless uh, you're out of the floor mat business uh, and you're doing something else, then I need to know that. To go back to Joseph Gomez, um, the – the stuff that that went on about Norvell was just completely ridiculous. Okay, it, yes, we're let's see. Damien said, "Where the hell was the people for the uh, for the past centuries, not just the past four years?" Yeah, exactly. I mean, this has been a problem for a long time. We all yeah. acknowledge that. We all know that. Um, but to, uh, people coming out and saying, you know, if if you go down these Twitter rabbit holes and and you see some of these comments that were made about Mike Norvell, uh. Look, you know, Chris, you got to meet Norvell at one point, didn't you? Uh, I mean, by meeting him, like, hi. And, yeah, I mean, no, yeah. I've never shaken his hand. That's, I don't okay. know that he ever spoke to me. I've, I've shaken his hand. I, I've talked to him, you know, a couple of times. I've been in his uh, presence. I've, yeah, he, he's a good guy. You will not hear a single bad word about this guy. And I, it's just insane, the people that will spout off stuff, calling him, you know, every name under the sun, just based off of this. You know, it was a obviously a miscommunication. Uh, but I don't think it necessarily makes him an awful person. No, it know? doesn't. But he definitely, I mean, he it's not just a miscommunication. Like, he, he, did, it was a he did lie about this. But yeah. at some point in time, you know. It was it was a very obvious mistake that could have been avoided. Uh, That's right. But I don't, I don't think he's an awful person. At no, all. I don't either. Uh, I don't either. I and don't that's either. It, it's the crazy thing. It's the same thing with like Drew Brees, right? Like we all yeah. know Drew Brees is is yep. a good dude. Yep. Um, I thought vehemently that he was wrong, but it, it's does crazy. that make him a terrible person? No, I just think he's wrong. It's crazy how quickly these things shift. Um, because yesterday we're worried about okay, is like has Drew Brees lost his locker room completely? And then today you see his teammates come out and okay, he apologized to it. Like, we all had a conversation. Yeah. We're all good. I accept, I accept his apology. Yeah. This is how it's supposed to work. Somebody says something dumb, then they apologize, and we have a conversation about what, why we disagree with it. You don't just say you're sorry, but you need to figure out why you thought the way you thought, and now can I get you on board with my thinking? But at the end of the day, we move on. That's a good thing. That's a positive thing. That's yes. a positive step. Once again, if somebody can change his mind and get him to what what I believe, what you believe, I think, yeah. is right side of thinking. Now, you can disagree with us and still be a good person. You can still be everything fine, but in our mind, right side of thinking, then then that's a that's another fighter in the you know a soldier in, in the fight against this thing, and let's move forward. Yes, 100%. he's got a hell of a lot bigger platform than we do. So if we can get him thinking right, don't villainize him. Don't don't destroy his reputation. Let's now use his voice and platform for good. Yes, and and the same thing with Norvell has yeah, happened same. here. Uh, they had their team meeting. They all discussed it. Uh, there have been way more students, uh, student athletes, that came out in support of Norvell today uh, than than came out against him yesterday. 
And well, that's that's always a good, you know, it's a step in the well, right direction. And that's the difference between him and Breeze. Drew Breeze is known by hundreds of millions of people. Yeah. Mike Norvell is known by like maybe a million people. Okay. A, a small like niche. their platform is, and the people that know him, 80% of those don't care. The those players, their opinion of him that matters so much more than Drew Brees' locker room. Yes. Okay. When Norvell does something stupid or says something stupid, it really affects the 150 kids in that room. Yes. That, you're right. That's who really is affected. Breeze saying something, he's got a much bigger voice and a much bigger platform. And so they are different things. If his players forgive him, move forward, and and you know, they have a good relationship. Then we're having a different conversation, and we can move on. Yes. Um, ben said true that, by the way. Um, Matt Miller jumped in and said, Twitter is a place for the exceptionally woke and people who refuse to have actual conversations for the most part. Um, it, sometimes, yeah. I mean, it's it, it's a scary place. It, it, social yep. media is, I mean, just, ugh, it's vile. It's incredibly vile sometimes. That's right. Uh, Damien jumped in and said, why the hell do people get to lie? Lying isn't going to get you anything. And Ben responded uh, and said, people lie. That's human nature. Uh, yeah. I think that's a good answer. I mean, it, I, there's no real excuse. There's no real I, I answer for that. I don't like the that. line, but at the same time, it, what's the proper punishment for it? That's where I, get, that's where I yeah. get messed up on is, yes, I he lied. He lied. We can't get away from that. So what do we do with that? I mean, do we just shoot the guy, just take him out back, and all right. I mean, there, there were people Bam. talking about the fact that we got to figure out what's it, right and what's wrong. With there it. were people saying Norvell could lose his job. I know. I, that's that's it. I know. <laughs> I mean, one that was never going to happen. Florida State would owe him way too much money, and they're already paying fourteen million dollars to another guy uh, to coach in the same state, just not at their place. So. Uh, Damian Estrada said, uh, I don't see why people are shocked with Breeze. Uh, did everyone forget he sat and took a picture with Trump at the national championship game? Uh, no, nobody forgot that. I mean, it, it, but it, I mean, at the same time, like he took a picture with the president. I mean, it was in his home city, like at, you in know, his home stadium. Yeah. In his home stadium. I, yeah. you know, I, I don't think that necessarily means that he supports him, but you know, it is what it is either way. Let's, uh, let's dive off of that.